Okay, thanks for coming back. This time we're going to look at a really quick uh, portfolio analysis. Let's go to school. Here we are at Jacobitz Learning, and we know how to choose stocks. We're just showing you what one of the managers here uh, did with a portfolio of hers. So if you look quick, quickly in, and this is really small to see, so we did over here, this was the bottom part uh, that we kind of snipped out. Let's just look at this stock. And again, we cannot tell you the names of the companies. One, we don't have their permission. Two, we don't want to give them a bad reputation because the stock market is volatile and it changes anyway. Okay, this is right here. Let's get into what this is. This is the bid price that a lot of people are doing. This is the current asking price as of 2.30 July 13th. This is the total of what they're worth. And again, this is a penny stock. And why is it a penny stock? Because it's under $5. A lot of people call those junk stocks. They will not invest in them because they're just not worth it. Okay, 266 is the average price the manager paid for, which is why you see this over here, that even though this is up from where it was the previous day, it's up 15 cents per share. Okay, so there's, there's 79 and a little bit over three quarters shares. I hope I didn't say price here. I hope I said shares. This is number of shares. Okay, because this is this is the value over here. This is what they're worth. And again, it's low value for 30 shares. It's almost a dollar and fifty cents per share. It's not too bad. It's up fifteen cents per share. And so that's what it's worth. Now here are the notes here. This was sixty, meaning that this number here was sixty. And this was seventy one dollars and seventy cents. Uh it would have been, but the commission paid on it. That's the price you pay to the trading platform was $4.95. So your value here was $66.75. Because you have to subtract the commission. And a lot of people say, you know, you pay too much in commissions. But here's the situation. You have to think about that because $4.95 to pay isn't so bad considering you're not getting the greatest interest for most banks, we're in the United States, for most of the banks, they're not giving on $100. You have to do jumbo amounts, like 100000 or so to even get like $70 a month in interest. So if you're paying $4.95 out, but you're gaining $0.15 cents per share, that's not bad. Okay, because this, this would be your overall gain over here. Here's the problem. Uh, the manager... And I, the other manager, and I talked about this, and this is too much of a loss. Okay, because they do, the, the platform does it for you. $45.11% uh, of loss compares to what the person started with. And this person took this stock out last year, last May 2022. This is what you're lo they're losing. Okay, so a person is sick of seeing a loss. They're sick of seeing this red. You see red here, meaning they're losing to it a point. It's red here. It's red here. It's too much red here. And we'll talk about that on the next slide and too much red here. And the person's saying, you know, I want to get rid of the red because it's showing a loss. And I don't want the loss to keep going on until the end of December. So they changed it. Okay, now when you look at all of this, it's $30 now. 
it's $43.95 with this much of a loss, $35.85. That's part of the risk you take. Somebody might have said that's bad management on stocks, but maybe not so bad. Maybe not. But once again, your overall portfolio, you're seeing some green here. And you're only talking about a little bit. And th th in this column here is what's going on during the day. These are your daily losses. This column here is overall the whole time. So I'm going to highlight that, that this is the whole time since you've had the stock. Okay, so that's the column you want to look at, and it's not so, so it's not so bad. Let's move on. Uh, when we take a look over here, there's 12,050 shares here, but look, look at all this loss. It's way too much. There's a negative dollar 20 cents change, but see, here we go again. This is a penny stock. So the manager has 12,050 shares, but it's kind of like not pulling its weight. It's kind of worthless. And this is how much they have, but it's penny stock. Problem is, it's not showing $120.50, which is ideally what the person would want if it was equal. It's taken a loss. So it's gone down from $0.02, cents, which is what the person brought down to $0.01, cent where it is currently. But here's your bid and here's your ask. So, I mean, it, it, it's losing. These are two zeros here. So it's losing its value. So ultimately, uh, what should happen is managers should share it, but the commission on this is really high. And this is why people say this. They go with big eight. Don't trade penny stocks. Because on some platforms, the commission is too high. And by the time you get your money back, uh, this person would have gotten... She would have gotten, what she gotten? She would have gotten um, like not even two cents because the commission was so high. So she figured since I paid two cents for each share, I might as well keep it. And when it gets really bad, maybe I'll drop it. She's been told not to follow that downward hill till it's all the way down and it's worthless. But again, if she's losing, she's going down $65 from the total amount. She probably lost the starting from last year she would have lost like 100 about $12 minus the commission it would have been 120 but it's $112 because of commissions so that's the risk she's willing to take and hopefully some of these others will balance her out over here she has a gain so she has $99.78 $57 and when you add 99 uh, 78 that's almost a hundred and fifty seven dollars so she's kind of making up for her loss just from these two here alone okay might be making up from three shares of here over here at 290 so overall not doing so badly so these are things you want to look at you want to concentrate on okay let's take a look at some of the others Okay, these are their, our little colors here, rainbow, co psychedelic colors, rainbow, different colors here, because these stocks are some of the ones that we thought about changing around. Here's a problem. Can't change this. You either have to sell it out. You have to sell out your shares or not, because this is actually a mutual fund. So that's a pool of funds. So you're going to have to hope that this goes up, or you're going to have to sell it completely. Um, same thing here. That's why we haven't dealt with these and sold these. And over here, once again, here we go with penny stocks, but again, it's only six cents. Okay, do we want to sell or do we not? That's a big question mark. We're going to follow this over the next 30 days. And this was the other one. By the way, this is a mining stock, and that's another thing we wanted to talk about. You have to be careful with explorations and some of the information you're getting out. And we will deal with that, too, in the next slide. Okay, the next page 
has some things we were looking at to look at exploratory mining. I want you to look at these caution signs. Warning, they're here for a reason. Okay, safety warning, we want you to keep as much money in your pocket as you can. This is just, uh, we're just informational. We do not say that this is going to work for everybody. Uh, we use the information for our accuracy. You may be looking for something else. So it's accurate in the sense that we looked it up and that's what someone said. But guess what? We don't know if they were telling the truth. And if you read that a CEO or a business um, owner of a company is telling you, you know, well, we're going to make money in the next seven years, you know, you have to take some of what they say with a grain of salt. They're trying to sell shares. And you're not really sure, nor is anyone else, what they're going to do. Some of them show progress. And a lot of them who show the most progress keep their, don't say anything at all. They go from seven, if they're going from seven million to 34 million building their company's revenue, you can look at that. Then you need to look at how much belongs to the shareholders, stockholders, and how much doesn't. They're only selling out 10% of the shares. Maybe it's not for you. Okay, uh, we're not telling you that you will make money in the stock market. We would never say that. We're just sharing with you, so hopefully you can use some of this. And we don't use this following webpage. We don't use their total information, but they have a lot of good articles to take us to, um, to lead us into things that uh, we may want to get into. So this is their trademark. Investing News is who we look for. They are a separate company, completely separate from us. There, it's their trademark. This is their website. Uh, this is if you wanted to contact them regarding an article you read or something you want to lose. I, sorry, lose, use. I don't know how long it would take for them to get in, in charge of you, but just from reading them, I've been learning, reading a lot about mining royalties, diamond royalties. They have drilling explorations all over the world. They have a lot of them in Peru, Colombia. Argentina, um, South Africa, and some South African companies go to uh, Peru and Argentina and go. Some are in places like Nigeria. Um, they're all over Africa. They're even in the United States. But I like to look at the international perspective. I don't always look at what's going on here in the United States as far as oil drilling. And keep in mind, Here's some of the things. A lot of these companies are doing what's called exploration. I have this here, wildcatting or exploration, which means they don't even know. It's a bad, not equal sign. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay, they don't even know if they're going to make a profit. So if you're buying from some of these companies that just got start, started, you don't know if there's going to be a profit. They may tell you, look, this is what we're doing. We have all of this money coming out. But you may not be completely sure. So you don't look at like what they say. You have to look at what they're doing because it's your money you're investing. Okay, large and small companies can afford to take losses. And when we got here and started talking about they're in partnerships with the governments in their countries to participate, they and the government share some of the, of the cost. So, you know, they're not going to lose. They're not set up to lose a whole lot of money like the average investor out here. Um, and, you know, you're talking millions and billions of dollars. So you have to be careful. And if you think you're going to get a return, they don't always promise returns. They may tell you what's happening. Some of them will ask you to invest large amounts of your cash. Some of them will say if you're not an accredited investor, meaning that if you don't make $200,000 um, per year or if you don't this, they don't even want you to invest because they know you won't get your money back by a certain time. OK, meaning there's no way possible they can pay you back $20,000 if they're just in the beginning or the exploration stage. So please be careful about them when you're out watching and saying, I'm going to do this. And also lately they are starting to do, um, they're starting to do royalties where you pay them for a lease of a percentage of land and you get a royalty off like the diamonds and the, or whatever they're doing. But some of those royalties, they're not even 10%. <laughs> you know, they're not 100% for sure, so they're not even 10%. You have to think about that. 
and think to yourself, is it really worth it? Okay, so look at what you're doing, look at where you're getting, and don't disbelieve everything you hear. Thanks so much for watching where Jacobitz Learning.